10,000 years ago, the Earth took a sudden deep freeze, and the woolly rhinoceros, a shaggy, tank-sized ice beast, vanished. But what if I told you this walking prehistoric carpet could be coming back? Let's rewind to the Pleistocene epoch, when the world was colder, humans were hairier, and the woolly rhinoceros roamed the frozen north. It looked like a rhino cosplaying as a mammoth, six feet tall, two tons heavy, with a fur coat that would make a polar bear jealous. Its front horn could grow over three feet long, and it probably used it to clear snow to find grass. Snow shoveling with style. So, what killed it? Most scientists point to climate change and overhunting, but then there's the Younger Dryas, a mysterious cold snap that hit the planet around 12,800 years ago, almost overnight. Global temperatures dropped by up to 10 degrees Celsius in less than a decade. Think Game of Thrones winter. The woolly rhino is more closely related to modern rhinos than mammoths are to elephants. We might see cold-adapted hybrids walking the tundra again. Just don't expect them to fetch a stick. Let's play devil's advocate. Is it a good idea to bring back Ice Age beasts when we're already losing bees? Should we be reviving furry tanks or focusing on, you know, not boiling the planet? Reviving extinct species might help restore lost ecosystems, a concept called rewilding, but it's not without risks. 